channel. Now a couple of days ago I had a new idea for a YouTube video and uh, I realised it had been nearly a month since my last video so I thought it was time to get some new content onto YouTube and uh, the idea was that I should make a video uh, ranking the Beatles album covers from my least favourite to most favourite uh, so that's what I'm going to do in today's video. So um, without further ado um, I'm going to get on to the ranking. So in at number 13 uh, is Help. And now I still like this album cover very much, but uh, maybe compared to some of just some compared to some of the other album covers, maybe it's um, slightly on the simple side. And the photo is uh, still from the uh, from the movie Help. Um, the scene in the Alps, the skiing scenes uh, when they're in the snow and uh, they're not spelling out help actually, they're spelling out N-U-J-V and I've never been sure why that is actually um, but yeah, I still like the cover and I show the back cover as well again, photos from the movie uh, so that's helping at number 13 on my ranking of the Beatles album covers um, and by the way, this is an original pressing, mono pressing which uh, I received a few years ago, but not all these covers that I'm showing are originals, but I'll point out the ones which are. So there we are. Help at number 13. So we go along to number 12. I almost forgot the rating. Um, I'll give Help, as, as an album cover, um, 7.5. So that's pretty good. Um, so we go along to Please Please Me, number 12, the debut album cover. Please Please Me, with Love Me Do and 12 other songs written there. Now, it, it's still a pretty cool cover, I do like it. Um, they're looking down, uh, they're, they're young, just you know, just starting off. Um, it's their debut album, they they look confident, they're smiling and everything. But uh, you know, compared to some of the later covers, maybe it uh, slightly pales in comparison to those. But I still think it's pretty cool. Please please me at number 12. So we go along to number 11. Uh, please please me, I'll give it 8 out of 10 as a rating of the cover. So we go along to Yellow Submarine, number 11. Now I think this is a very interesting cover and it shows the Beatles um, in cartoon form from the Yellow Submarine animated movie, so that's cool. And we have some of the characters, uh, including the Blue Meanies and the Captain, Old Fred, you know, from the, from the movie as well. There's the back cover. And it's, it's still cool, it's kind of a um, quirky album cover, very colourful. And um, But it, something has to come in at number 11. And the Yellow Submarine album cover, I'd, I'd give a, another 8 out of 10 as a rating of the cover. <coughs> so Yellow Submarine at number 11. So, into the top 10. Uh, number 10, Magical Mystery Tour, which is a very, um, very psychedelic, colourful... Um, a uh, very unusual cover and I think I, I do think it's very good still but again this just cracks the top 10 and it shows them in the walrus costumes from the I'm in the walrus sequence which is a cool sequence in the in the mystery tour uh, television movie and the back cover is still pretty good the uh, from the your mother should know sequence and it says the song titles um, so magical mystery tours as an album cover I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10 so Magical Mystery Tour number 10. Moving along to number 9. Beatles for Sale. And I put this at number 9 because I do think this is a cool photo. But it does, it's a cool photo of the band. But it does show the, um, the kind of, the strain of, you know, Beatlemania in 64 when they'd been touring America and the world and TV appearances, live appearances, ap appearing in the movie A Hard Day's Night. And they did look, they do look... Uh, pretty worn out on the cover but it is, is, is a cool shot taken by Robert Freeman famous photographer who took a, f a few of their famous album covers and the back cover is similar facial expressions but I still think it's good and uh, it's Beatles for sale at number 9 and I'll give it another 8.5 out of 10 as a cover so we go along to Let It Be at number 8 which and I think this is a very cool album cover um, it shows the four of them in, in different scenes from the movie, kind of spliced together, but I still think it's they're cool photos. 
um, and that's why I've decided to put let it be a number eight and um, it's an 8.5 as a rating as well back cover and this is the, the last album the, and this will be the last of my album reviews on the Beatles and um, I've started work on it and I, I'll get it on as soon as I can for those who are waiting for it let it be at number eight so we go along to number seven this is a, an original pressing of A Hard Day's Night Mono, I'll take it out of the sleeve um, so number seven on my ranking of the Beatles album covers, A Hard Day's Night, the, the soundtrack to their first motion, motion picture movie from 64. And it's like like stills from a movie, really. That's the cool thing about it. It just shows different personalities and different expressions, um, which is interesting. Back cover's pretty cool as well. Scenes from the movie and also, you know, sleeve notes. And uh, Hard Day's Night at number 7. And I'll give it a 9 out of 10 as an album cover. So down to number 6 with um, a very iconic album cover. The cover of their second album with the Beatles from 63. And it's very, um, it's kind of influenced the pop art movement which would happen in the mid 60s. Um, which would adorn a lot of famous album uh, sleeves. And... Um, you know, as I said in the review of the with, with the Beatles album, that it's um it was inspired by after the Beatles friend, an original bass player and artist, Stuart Sutcliffe, died of a brain hemorrhage at age twenty two. He um John and George were photographed by his fiance Astrid Kiescher in Germany and the, the kind of moody black and white photos which are very famous. And that's and they chose that as an inspiration for this album cover which Robert Freeman took in the doorway of a hotel room in Devon, I think, when they were on tour. And yeah, it's been parodied many times. And uh, with the Beatles at number six. And I'll give it a nine out of ten as an album cover. And I'm just going to have some tea. <sighs> Before I keep going into the top five. So into the top five. Now, some of you... So I've got the Beatles self-titled album, commonly known as the White Album. And you can probably see why. And some of you might be thinking, this isn't the best album cover to have at number five. But, you know, I think that it's the cool thing about this is it was released a year after Sgt. Pepper and Magical Mystery Tour in 67, which were these very, you know, colourful, psychedelic um, album covers. They're very eye-catching. And then a year later, in 68, they decided to do the complete opposite. They went in a complete different direction with a plain white cover with the Beatles embossed at the bottom and it's white on the back it's completely white and uh, the four photos as well and the song titles so yeah that's why I've chose the white album at number five and I will give it a 9.5 actually because I just because of the um, the interest in value of the album cover and the reason why I put it at number five so we go along to number four on the ranking with Rubber Souls, which is a very cool cover. Um, it's very, um, the, you see the groovy font by there, and a uh, cool photo of the band, which is stretched, maybe I should put it this way. And uh, yeah, I like it very much, that cover. So number three, you bear with me. Yeah. I should have had a year, sorry, but um, it's Revolver in at number three, which is a very... Um, the Beatles' friend, Klaus Foreman, took this album cover. And um, it's a very interesting kind of a pop art album cover, a sketch drawing. And it's kind of, it's a very unusual cover, but it's, it's quite freaky in a way as well. And um, it's very interesting and very uh, creative. And the back cover, a photo of the four of them, which is also cool. And the revolver, and, you know, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. So that's at number three. So number two, number two and number one, which were pretty uh, difficult, because they're arguably the, you know, the most iconic album covers of all time, and the most parodied and famous. Uh, but at number two, I've chosen Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, I'm sure. 
the majority of you have seen this cover many times. Um, very um, like the epitome of the the swinging sixties summer of love uh, psychedelic era. Um, and of course, all their heroes, the uh, cardboard cutouts in the background. They have the colourful Sergeant Pepper outfits, the moustaches, and uh, of course, there's many things you could stare at this album cover for hours and still find different things on it. But um, yeah, it's in at number two for me. The back cover, the lyrics printed on the back, the first time that had happened, and I may as well show the inner sleeve. Sergeant Pepper at number two, and it's a 10 out of 10 cover for me. And at number one, you probably guessed, and it won't be a surprise to many people, it's Abbey Road. You might be thinking maybe an easy option for number one, but um, it's just so awesome, and it's very simple when you think of it in a way, but it's very effective. It's just the four of them walking across the crossing, been parodied many times. People from all over the world still go to Abbey Road in London where this was taken by the studios just to follow in their footsteps and um, many things could be said about the album cover, many things have been said but yeah, Abbey Road is my number one choice and it's of course a 10 out of 10 um, so that's my ranking of the Beatles album covers from my least favourite to most favourite um, and I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I know it's been a month since my last video, so I thought I'd get some, some content on the channel. And as usual, feel free to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you pretty soon. Thank you very much.